we got the homie man, Dr. Dre, nothing but a thing, the official music video. We're about to see what's going on with this, man. Honestly speaking, though, I'm not going to lie to y'all. A lot of y'all probably don't know my age. I am 22 years of age, bro. I'm 22 years old. You get what I'm saying? So I wasn't born in the 80s and the 90s. Like, yeah, I got cousins. I got feel me, family, you know, that was born in that time. I listened to those type of music, but I was never, you know, really into those music, like, in the 80s and 90s. Like, I go back and listen to it, you know, songs here and there. Like, I know Dr. Dre and Snoop was, like, you know, killing it back in the day. Them two was killing it back in the day, man, for sure, for sure. But was never a big fan, for real. Like, this legit about to be my first time watching this music video, listening to it. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure I heard the song before, though. Nothing but a G thing. Because, like, I feel like that's, like, a classic. You know, especially in, in hip-hop music, I feel like this is a classic. I'm pretty sure I heard it, but, you know, knowing me, I probably forgot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're about to see what's going on with this man, Dr. Dre. Nothing but a G thing, man, the official music video. Uh, like I said, it's about to be my first time watching the music video. And honestly, I think it's about to be my first time listening to the song, too. You know what I'm saying? The name sounds familiar, but... You know, I'm not an old head, you feel me? Shout out to all my old heads out there, you feel me? That that loves 80s and 90s music and that still critique, like, today's music as well, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like different eras, you know, is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, the 80s and 90s music is different compared to the 2000s or the 2010s or even the 2020s music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, you know, as eras go by, things evolve and, and, and changes. Um... For the good or for the or for the worst. You get what I'm saying? It's just your opinion, you feel me? But let's dive into this man, Dr. Dre. Nothing but a G thing. Let's see what's going on with this man. If this is your first time, you feel me? We where we, we go we go check it out together, man. Yeah. This is DJ Charmaine Champagne. And this is your chronic down radio Morning, station. Y'all. So you got to be listening to the chronic. Yo, 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 why Cali looks so much like this look like a movie scene, bro? Bro, this look like a movie scene, like Like dead serious look like a movie scene, bro. Like one of them classic movie scenes, bro. Hope you're picking them up to find a job. Yeah, we're going to work so we can grow up and be just like you. Hey, y'all, y'all going to the picnic today? Yeah, you thought you knew. Hmm. Hey, Snoop! Wait, what up? Snoop in here, too? Oh, so this is a doctor. Why, why Snoop not in the title then? Hey, what's up, Dre? I heard you know I missed the bomb. One, two. Three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Ready to make an entrance, so back up. Oh. Look at Snoop, bro. Look at Snoop, bro. And the crazy thing about Snoop, he low-key still look like this, bro. He just obviously older now, bro. Dog. If you don't know Snoop now, we probably wouldn't even really recognize that was Snoop Dogg, though, but... Dog, bro. Yo. It's like Snoop really don't age, bro. Now, I ain't gonna lie, though. Snoop and Dr. Dre always make hits. Always. Hey, what's up, Dre? I heard you know I missed the bomb. One, two... 
three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the door. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up. Before I have to pull the strap off the cut. Give me the microphone first so I can bust like a bubble. Compton and Long Beach together, now you know you in trouble. Cause ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Two loped out G, so we crazy. Death Row is the label that pays, man. Unfatable, so please don't try to fake this. Hell but yeah. uh, back to the lecture at hand. Perfection is perfected, so I'm a lad, I'm understand. From a young G's perspective. And before me, they got a trick, I have to find a contraceptive. You never know, she could be earning her man and learning her man. And at the same time, burning her man. Now, when she burning, I'ma chill for a minute. Cause ain't no loving good enough to get burned while I'm a Bennett. Yeah. And that's real of real deal, holy field. And now you hooked up and ho. Bro, look at Snoop, though, bro. I can't, like, I can't shake it, bro. This is really Snoop, bro. This is the youngest Snoop. Like, this is, oh my. Yo, bro, this is crazy, bro. And now you hookers and hoes know how I feel. Well, if it's good enough to get from up a proper chunk, I take a small piece of some of that funky stuff. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. It's like that and like this and like that, Anna. It's like this and like... I mean, if you, grew, if you grew up in a household where, you know, your parents was listening to, you know, the 80s music, the 90s music, then you grew up on Snoop, you grew up on Dr. Dre, man. You know, but a lot of us, that's like... You know, 20, 21, 22, we don't, we don't really know unless you do your own, you know, your own research, you feel me? Uh, go back and listen to the old stuff, you feel me? But I feel like a lot of, a lot of young cats nowadays, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, don't really know about, you know, how, how hip hop generated or, you know, this era right here, you feel me? I feel like this era was different, um. And yeah, I really feel like Dr. Dre and Snoop, you know, really ran this this era. In my eyes, you know, I'm just I'm just a young and just just you know stay in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But that's how I look at it, though. You know, but I feel like Snoop and Dr. Dre still uh, pay their respect, you know, to the new generation as well. You know, even even though the new generation do get a lot of backlash, um. But I still feel like, you know, a lot of a lot of the old heads. I feel like especially Wayne too, I feel like Wayne do give a lot of the old heads. But Wayne is like like early two thousands, you feel me? Um, uh, but he, he still paid homage to the new generation though. It's good enough to get from up a proper chunk. I take a small piece of some of that funky stuff. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. It's like that and like this and like that, Anna. It's like this and like that and like this, Santa. Drake creep to the mic like a fan. Well, I'm peeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping. But I damn near got kept because my beeper kept beeping. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seat. Dutch, you've never been on a ride like this before. What a producer who can rap and control the maestro At the same time with the dope rhyme that I kick You know and I know I feel some more funky shit yeah. To add to my collection The selection symbolizes dope Take a joke but don't choke If you do, you have no clue of what me Nah! <laughs> you can, yo, you can tell Tom has changed though for real, bro Yo, that is crazy Selection, the selection symbolizes dope. Take a talk for oh, dog shock. Oh. If you do, you have no clue of what me and my homie Snoop Dogg came to do. It's like this and like that and like this, Anna. It's like that and like this and like that, Anna. It's like this and we ain't got no love for those. So just chill till the next episode. Back on that ass, what a hell of a gangster lean. Getting funky on the mic like an old batch of collard greens. It's the capital S O S yes, oppression, double O P D O double G Y D O double G. You see, showing much flex. When like a old batch of collard greens. It's the capital S O S yes, oppression, double O P D O double G Y D O double G. You see, showing much flex when it's time to wreck a mic. Pimping hoes and clacking a grip like my name was Dolomite. Yeah, and it don't quit. I think they in the mood for another one of those G hits. So, Dre, what up, dog? We gotta give them what they want. What's that, G? We gotta break them off something. Hell yeah. And it's gotta be bump. 
Compton. City of Compton. It's where it takes place, so a gnash your attention. Mopping with the dog fan. Bow, wow, wow. Dropping the funky tracks is making the suckers just mumble. When I'm on the mic, it's like a cookie, they all crumble. Try to get close, and you're bound to get smacked. My little homie Snoop Doggy Dog has got my back. Never let me slip, cause if I slip, then I'm slipping. But if I got my Nina, then you know I'm straight tripping. And I'ma continue to put the rap down, put the Mac down. And if your woman wanna trip, I have to put the smack down. Yeah, then you don't stop. I told you I'm just like a clock when I tick and I talk. But I'm never off, always on till the break of dawn. See you when see you win in the city they call Long Beach. Putting straight together like my homie DOC. No one can do it better like this, that, and this, and uh, it's like that, and like this, and like that, and uh, it's like this. Then we ain't got no love for those. So just chill till the next episode. So just chill till the next episode. <laughs> yo, he came back drunk, yo. Yo, he came back drunk. Episode. song for the first time when I was four years old. God damn, four damn, how old is you now? Thank you for watching y'all, uh, da da da. 31 years later, this song, God, this song is 31 years old. This song is older than me. Jesus Christ. God damn. One of the greatest hip hop albums in history it brought West Coast to the mainstream and made it worldwide. I gotta listen to this album, man. Leave a like, man. I gotta, I gotta dive into this album, man. Leave a like on this video for this album, man. I'm out of here, though, man. Comment down below what y'all think about it, man. Nothing but a G thing, man. Dr. Dre, Snoop.